Well, good morning. Hi. Welcome to this week's edition of Coffee Chat with me. Good morning, Jackie G. Hello, Ernie. Good morning, Annalise. Thank you guys so much for jumping on. Robert, hello. So great to have you guys joining me live this morning. Hey, Mom. Good morning. Okay, I have something really exciting to show you. Hey, Roz. Um, I got my first pair of earrings this morning, like yesterday, and they're from this gal, Maggie Emerson, and she makes them and designs like so many different custom earrings, and they're beads, and they're beautiful, and I'm so grateful for them. And they're just so fun, so I had to wear them today. I maybe look like I'm going somewhere fancy today, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm just doing this video. Wanted to wear my new earrings. And so um, Maggie Emerson. Hey, Lori, good morning. You wanted to check her out. M-A-G-G-I-E-E-M-E-R-S-O-N. And yes, um, I know another gal who does beaded earrings. Maggie Stock, she's from Middle Lake and her daughter Tamara. I haven't seen posts from her lately, but she also makes very beautiful earrings. So yeah, it's just fun, 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 fun. Um, okay, so I actually had a question sent in for this week's coffee chat to talk about pain. Like this lady is wondering what to do with pain in her body that has, that, that has no specific cause. So it's not like any event happened, um, but she's having pain in her body. Now this is, I'm just going to really touch the tip of the iceberg of this topic and what my experience, I mean, really with my own body has been with regards to pain and talk about it with, um, from the consciousness perspective. So. I don't remember if I said this yet, but if you don't know me, my name is Catherine Oster and I am a certified facilitator with Access Consciousness and Access Consciousness is um, a body of work that really invites you to start to question things that are showing up in your life and empowers you to create change. Good morning, Megan. Hey, Tanya. Okay, so the very first foundation class, Bar's foundation class that I took, I, there was conversation around pain because pain in bodies is really, I mean, it, it's a thing. Bodies are, bodies hurt sometimes. And sometimes it can be for no really obvious reason, which can be very frustrating. Um, the very first thing is getting out of the judgment that pain is wrong. You know, judgment, when we go to judge things as right or judge things as, as wrong, it locks that energy or pain or whatever it is in place. Now, what if your body is a sensory organism that picks up on energies things happening around you, other bodies, <clears throat> things that are around you. And what if your body gives you information based on those things that it's aware of? It's a sensory organism. So what if what you're feeling that we would describe as pain is um, energy? And there's only, there's a limited number of ways that our body can communicate with us that gets our attention. And one of them is pain. Now I started, I started shifting the word that I used because pain, the word pain has a lot of judgment onto it that it's wrong. I started saying intensity, like my body's feeling really intense in my right hip. It's not, but that's how I would describe it instead of, cause it, if you notice the word intensity doesn't have so much energetic wrongness attached to it. It's, but you are speaking to what is actually going on for you. Oh, Megan has had a headache 20 hours. Okay. Okay. 
what else is possible there? So what is your body aware of? So the moment that we make it wrong, that, that we did something wrong, that our body is getting old and breaking down, that's a judgment. Those are judgments and they lock that energy in place. The moment you go to question with something, like what is this intensity body? What is this? And you really, I used to find myself avoiding the pain. Like um, for me, it was like, hey, Shauna, I had this low back, lower back pain was my thing. And it started when I was a teenager. And right away I went to, oh my God, I'm getting so old so fast, I'm gonna be crippled. Like that was my very first response when my back started hurting. And, um, and it wasn't really for any obvious reason. And it is something that reoccurred in my life probably like every um, once or twice a year, maybe even three times a year, where I would bend over or just do something and then boom. It was like, hey, Krista, good morning. And then boom, it was like shooting pain through the back. And I lived with that, I would say, until I started to change it like um, five years ago. So for quite a while, <laughs> Krista, interesting. Oh, okay, Tanya, I ended up in emergency last night for two hours. I thought I was having appendix attack. They think gallbladder. Okay, okay, oh my gosh, you guys, we could be here for like an hour. <laughs> anyway. Um, what's the most important thing is to go to question. What is this body? What is this intensity? And stop trying to define it and stop trying to understand it and stop trying to figure it out. Body, what is this? Body, what is this? and start to be present with your body and the pain and notice what information. You'll start to get information. So anything that doesn't, I'm gonna run the access consciousness clearing statement right now. And the clearing statement um, just clears up that energetic judgment and um, allows you to have more clarity with what's going on. So anything that doesn't allow you to commune with your body rather than fight against your body will you destroy and create all of that right wrong good bad all nine pod poc shorts boys poveds and beyonds okay that's the clearing statement if you would like more information about those words and how you can play with it in your life you can go to theclearingstatement.com so body, what is this? Body, can we change this? And what you're going to notice is like a light and a heavy. So if I, if I ask that question and I perceive a sense of lightness or I get a yes, oftentimes I'll just get the word yes in my head. We can change it. Okay, cool. Body, how can we change this? And then I'll go through some questions with my body. So do we need to see a doctor? Truth body, do we need to see a doctor? True, no, yes or no. You're only asking your body yes or no questions. You can also um, use muscle testing. If you've ever done muscle testing, that can also give your body the ability to communicate with you through muscle testing. Truth body, do we need to see a doctor? Truth body, massage therapist, truth body chiropractor, truth body acupuncture, truth body, how can we change this? So I'll go through some of those questions. And if I got a yes, let's say there was a yes for massage therapist, I'm like, okay, body, which one? Who can contribute to us? And then somebody will pop into my mind or I'll see something or I'll get 
something will catch my eye. So this is really getting out of the trying to figure it out and out of maybe the program because <clears throat> maybe you already see a massage therapist and they're really great and you're just kind of on a routine of going to see them. But maybe there's somebody else who can contribute to your body um, that your body would like to see this time. And if you and if you're not willing to change your program and listen to your body, then you won't know. The thing with people is everybody has different capacities with energies. So what I can contribute to a body, either through body processes, which is access consciousness. Hey, Colleen. Through body processes or bars or um, what I can contribute is different than what you could contribute to somebody. Your body will know what person can contribute the energies to release and shift this intensity. Now, if it doesn't change right away, it doesn't mean it's wrong. Stay in the question. Um, now, I'm going to go back to talking about my lower back pain. We could be here for a little bit, guys. Stay with me. Aha. Oh, yeah. So, Tanya, I resist the doctor. And last night she was talking surgery. It stressed me out. <sighs> cool. But, okay. Okay. So, everything that is, Tanya, will you destroy it and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, pobes, and beyonds. So really stay in the question and, and keep running that clearing statement when you notice yourself going into resistance. Because if you're going into resistance with something, um, you're not going to have a clear sense as to whether it is something that is required or not. So if Tanya is resisting surgery, her body, and if her body is really asking for surgery, but she's resisting it, it's just not going to be ease and she's not going to get clear information. So keep running that clearing statement. Everything this is, right, wrong, good, bed, online, pod, pox, shorts, boys, pokes, and beyonds. Yeah. Hey, Dad. So um, sometimes bodies, like if, if pain is an energy. So for me, my lower back pain thing. So um, it came up. So I, I was changing it using these tools. It would come up and then I would shift it way quicker than I ever had before because normally I would be stuck with this in this lower back pain that like for months yes exactly Krista yes Krista's doing going through a back pain thing right now too that's been a big thing I've had to remind myself if this wasn't a problem what else can I choose what gift is this what is this inviting me to yes yes hey Bobby okay so um, I would use the tools, shift it within a couple of days, actually. Like I was quite impressed with how fast it was, it was changing. Now, the thing is, is that you are aware. Your body is aware. Your body communicates with you. So the pain is never, like it's not wrong if the pain never goes away because your body's always going to be communicating with you. So that's another thing. That's another piece. Um... So staying in the question with that. Now, um, in February, just this last February, I had, it, it came up for me again, my lower back intensity. I have been choosing a lot of bigger things in the world. I chose to become a Talk to the Entities Certified Facilitator. In February, I was renewing my Certified Facilitator Training with Access Consciousness. There was other things that I've been asking for greater in my life. I've been stepping up more. Now bodies lock in, hold in. We can lock energies, judgments, doubt, other things in our bodies from, well, from all of this lifetime and maybe previous lifetimes. Um, and so when you are asking to, to live a greater life, when you are up leveling and you're going to show up in the world greater as you, sometimes bodies go through what can, what can be called a healing crisis. And a healing crisis can be very intense and very painful. And basically, um, 
it's just your body releasing all of these limitations, all of these judgments, all of the things that you have locked in that's keeping you from having the change and receiving what you are asking for. So I really, in February, that really came up for me. Um, and I had to, it took me about a week, like this, my lower back pain probably was fairly intense for about, it took about a month to shift it. There were things that would change it and it would go from one side to the other and it would move around, but it would never completely go away for about a month. I had to stay in the question with it. Um, one of the questions that I really like to ask is like, truth, is this the change I've been asking for showing up in a totally different way than I could have imagined? And it's always a yes, <clears throat> you know, and, um, and truth, the other question I like to ask is, does the universe have my back? Does consciousness have my back? Yeah. Okay. We'll keep going. And then I, I got to getting some more information about this healing crisis. And I'm like, oh my God. And it was so light. I'm like, body, is this a healing crisis? And it was like, yes. And I'm like, okay. So throughout that month of February, I saw my massage therapist a couple times. I went to the chiropractor a couple times. Like, and they would contribute to shifting the pain. They would shift it. I had body processes run. I took some body process classes. It would shift it, but it would never totally dissipate until one day. And in fact, for a period of about three days close to the end of it, it got more intense and more intense and more intense. So to the degree that I thought I was going to die, actually, I was like, sweet Jesus, you know, what the heck? And, um, I thought that I had like a kidney infection. I was like, do I need to see a doctor? My body kept saying no, but I'm like, well, I'm going to go to the doctor. I'm going to make an appointment anyway, just so then I know for myself. And the night that the day that I made my appointment to go see a doctor to just get kidney infection checked out because for whatever reason, um, that night it got like really, really intense. Like I couldn't sleep. I was considering driving myself to the emergency room in the middle of the night in the middle. It was like minus 40 cause it was so cold, but that's how it was. And I'm like, okay, body and just really got present, you know? And, um, and then I had a, like a hot shower. I got comfortable and I did fall asleep. When I woke up the next morning, it was gone. It was so gone. And I, and for whatever, like, that's the thing is I don't have any words. I can't tell you exactly what it was, but it just shifted. But it had to turn up. On my senses, it had to turn up. And, um, and I went to my doctor's appointment the next day. I asked him about a kidney infection. We did a urine sample. And he's like, you have the cleanest urine I've ever seen. And I'm like, of course I do. Because it wasn't anything physical. It was like an energetic shift release. And, um, and then since then it has been not like no intensity at all. Totally shifted. Yes. <laughs> and so, um, so that's what that was for me, but I had to stay with that question, stay in the question for like a month and ride out that, healing crisis, whatever it was, um, not go into the wrongness of my body, stay in the question, what has actually shown up for me since that event in February? So I don't know if you guys, and for those of you that get my emails, I talked about, like, I actually had some doubt come up for me that month, like, does this shit even work? You know, and do I really want to be a certified facilitator? Like I had, like, I questioned, so many things in my life because that's how intense it was for me. Um, and, and beyond it, like what I've been asking for is so much more space. Things have shown up so much more like I, hmm, there's not many words for me to give you, but, but 
what would it take for you to stay in the question with your body? <sighs> stay with the question in your body. Um, and yeah, there was something else I wanted to say, but I can't recall it right now. Um, oh, another clearing. So one of the clearings that I've, you know, gotten through my, through all the classes that I've taken, especially with the lower back pain is like, what am I hiding? What are you hiding and holding behind you so dynamically that if you didn't hide it and hold it behind you would um, open up a level of power, potency, and receiving that you don't think you can control. And everything that is, will you destroy it and create it all? Right, wrong, good, bed, all night, pod, pox, shorts, boys, pogs, and meons. Because remember, I said that bodies, we lock things in our bodies. Well, yes, and trusting Krista, totally. Remember how I said lobby, lock things in our bodies? What if, so when things unlock in our bodies, it can be very, very intense. And I know. Now, potency is your ability to create change, <clears throat> whether it's in your life. And when you change your life, it affects change in other people's lives as well. And for that month, I was running that clearing. You know, what am I hiding and holding behind me so dynamically that if I didn't hide it and hold it behind me, would open up a level of um, power. I have it wrote down. I'm gonna find it right now for you guys and then you can listen in and you can write it down for yourself. <clears throat> if you would like to run it, if you dare. Um, let me see here, I'm just gonna search on my computer. Okay, what are you holding behind you? What are you hiding and holding behind you so dynamically? that if you didn't hold it behind you, would allow you to be a level of potency, presence, and capacity that you aren't sure you can handle. And everything that is, will you destroy it and create it all? <sighs> right, wrong, good, battle nine, pod, pox, shirts, boys, povas, and beyonds. Yes, okay, Krista, you write that baby down and you run it. What are you? What if, so if I'm running it on myself, I would say, what am I hiding and holding behind me so dynamically that if I didn't hold it and hide it behind me would allow me to be a level of potency, presence, and capacity that I'm not sure I can handle? And everything that is, right, wrong, good, bad, all nine, pod, pox, shorts, boys, povas, and beans. I ran that every day, all day in my head. Like, what is, you know, that? So... Um, so that's kind of a little conversation with pain that shows up in your body. Um, if I, if you've done something, say you've twisted your ankle or like one example that I did was I opened up a bundle of fence posts and they were kind of above me. We were putting them in a rack and one fell down and hit my shin just below my knee. And so that hurt for a few months actually. Um, so what I would did with that was I ran body processes on it. And you can take access body process con classes are happening all over. Um, body processes is just where somebody places your their hand on you or you can do it yourself. And you just ask, you know, for an energy to run that will contribute to changing it. Physiotherapy, you know, there's some really great physiotherapists out there that can contribute to shifting. If you've been in an accident or have things like stay in the question, body, what's it going to take to change this and take foundation class and you'll learn, you know, bars and foundation. You'll start to get more information about pain in your body and how you can change it. What if you don't have to live in pain? Whether that's physical pain or emotional pain, what's possible beyond the pain? Okay. Lori, I'm Mary Lynn. Well, that's a wrap for Coffee Chat today, guys. If you also like personal sessions, I mean, sometimes 15 minutes talking with a facilitator like myself or somebody who just doesn't have any judgment or will not project and expect at you what this pain is can also allow you to get clear have more clarity about what is going on with your body. So, I mean, if you want to book a session sometime, 
just message me and let me know and we can totally, you know, jump on Zoom or have a chat for like 15 or 20 minutes, whatever it takes. And yeah. Okay. See you later. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Have an amazing day wherever you are, whatever you're up to. Bye bye for now. Oh, Krista. Thank you. You're welcome.